Okay, let's see this example. Um, starting from a rest, a particle moving in a straight line has an acceleration of a, 2t minus 6 meter per second, where t is in seconds. Uh, what is the particle's velocity when t equals to 6 seconds? And what is the position when t equals to 11 seconds? So you have two t's, um, and you're going to look for the velocity and also the position. So we start with the, the given equation. So a equals to 2t two minus 6. Okay, and then we know that dv equals to a times dt. And then from here, you can integrate this. Okay, so we don't know what is the final velocity, right? So this is going to be uh, 0 to v dv. And then from 0 to t, okay, 2t minus 6, okay, 2t minus 6 dt. So when we solve for this equation, we are going to get v equals to t squared minus 6t. Okay, and then um, we know that uh, ds equals to v dt. And then when we solve for this, we know that uh, the initial position is 0. And this is the final position S. ds equals to from 0 to t, uh, t squared minus 6t. Okay. And then this is going to be dt. So when we solve for this uh, distance, you are going to get t to the power of 3. Uh, this is going to be 3 minus 3t three squared. So you have this equation to start with. And also you have this equation to start with. So you go you're going to find the velocity and then you are going to find the position so finally what you're going to get it when when you're go, going to get it you're going to get um, V okay equals to okay uh, when T equals to six seconds okay when t equals to six seconds you're going to get a v equals to okay six squared minus six times six so you're going to get v equals to zero um when t equals to uh, 11 okay when t equals to 11 seconds what you're going to get is uh, s equals to uh, 11 okay, minus t uh, this is going to be 11 so you're going to get 80.7 meters